Well, I, put, I did another thing around here. I know I've been quiet on YouTube lately, but that's gonna change because the Molina can't get parts for it. But we got two new winter projects and that's not the Moline. Drug the Moline off the storage, I'm waiting on an engine. To, I can't get an engine for it till spring, so that's what we're doing, waiting till spring. But I finally found me a snowblower for my 110. I need some work and some love to it. But, huh? That's how this thing seized. It's not completely stuck, but it is stuck. And that's seized up too. Everything is just black. This is going to be a fight. We'll get that going. I really want to use that this winter. But, oh. Yeah. I went and did something. <laughs> I went and bought me a 1250 Hydro for a hundred bucks. And all it needs is an ignition coil. That is literally it. Hmm, no gas. So, I'm quite excited. I actually have an International now. It is a little newer than the 110. This thing's actually physically taller and bigger than it. This is a bigger tractor than that 110. Which I would expect that in a 1250. I don't know a whole lot about these internationals. So a little help goes a long ways around here. I mean, even the steering is... Steering is still mint. I mean, there's a little bit of slop in there. And you can tell. But there is not a lot of slop. If at all, and hydro even works too, and that hydro's really smooth. I want to get it going. For when he told me, it's just the ignition coil. It's the same place I got the Mol the Minneapolis Moline and the Montgomery Wards, which I since traded for a 112. So 112 might be pulling that transaxle out and going in this thing, because this one's giving me problems. So we'll see if that's that's probably going to be the case. I'm going to end up using that 112 for parts even though I didn't want to but I need a transaxle that 112 will work because that is basically that will just bolt into this I have another 110 but that other 110 I have I'm going to put another motor in it and sell it so I can't rip into that one so yeah that's probably the plan with that and this thing it's getting the same tires as that guy and the seat's a little tall for my liking Sitting. Goddamn compressor. Fuck. This sits a little taller than I want. So what I'm going to do... I'm just going to run these bolts out. And I'm going to stick a battery in this thing and see what she does. So, you guys will see that next video. Stay tuned. We're going to get, we're gonna have some projects around here. And we still got work to do on this tractor yet. Stay tuned.